All right, morning everybody. First brew day, and I'm gonna be doing that, if you can see it. Big lamp bitter, it's a simple one. So it shouldn't be too bad. Strike water's up to temperature. I forgot my spoon. Give it a good old stir, don't have any dough balls. Smells lovely as usual. See what we got. Should be about sixty six.
how a bit low. Sixty. Get the reset going. Bring it up a bit. Right, let that go. Put the lid on. Give it a few minutes and I'll do a pH on it. There you go. Got a nice little reset going there. Excuse the steam. And we're on. Coming up to nearly 65, so another couple of minutes, we'll be at 66. Right, we're on 66. So I'm going to leave that now for an hour, set a timer, and then I'll be back. There we go, it's steady at about 65, 66, it goes up to and then drops back down again. I'm not going to muck about with it. The reason I use an ink bird is because of these bloody things. They're absolutely crap, it's about 4 degrees out. I might as well throw it away, but... I'm a magpie so I'll keep things. But yeah, everything seems to be going well at the moment. I'll give you another quick look at the mash. Nice and clear coming out. I'm just going to check the pH. Right, we're on 5. 5. There we go, it's 5.5 .5 at the minute. So I'll put in a one milliliter of phos phosphoric acid and I'll give it another go out of that. There we go, five point two. Happy with that. See you later. Right, half out to go, no problems at the moment. It's going too well. So probably going to get a few problems later on, as usual. You know how it goes. Right, getting ready at the sparge now. Sparge water's up to 75 degrees. Just got to get the balance right between the mash tun and the boil kettle. Pumps on. Sparging through the Herms coil, and that gives it a clean out at the same time. Just got to make sure the water stays just above the grain, not taking it out too quickly. Turn that down a bit.
and for some reason they're not pumping very well. going on. I knew it was too good to be true, everything went was going really well. Might have a bit of air in the system. Turn you off a minute while I sort this out. Right, back in the game. Poxy airlock. Anyway, it's going now. Just got to try and keep the levels right. Down in a bit too quick. That's about it. Down in a bit fast there as well. Slow that down. Come back to you when we um, start the boil. Okay, there we go. What's going in is roughly what's coming out. Got to get to about just under 30 litres. There we go. Just trying to keep the grain covered. Okay, see you soon. Right, we've hit our 30 litres. Going to start the boil. I'm just going to empty all the hoses and that. So I can clean them up. Right, just waiting for the boil. I've got 45 grams of EKG and 10 grams of progress because I haven't got any fuggles. And there's a world flock tablet in there as well. We're up to 93 degrees. Turn you around. The old computer heat sink's doing quite well, nice and hot. Taking all the heat out that little box. So I'll be back in a minute. Put the hops in. 
Okay, we've got a boil, first up addition, 45 grams of EKG. There we go, don't use a hot spider. I don't like them, I just whack it straight in. Okay then, there we go. Okay, last hop edition and well flop tablet. There we go. Right, sterilizing the cooling coil. Goes back in. And that's got an L shape at the bottom. Give it a bit of a whirlpool. Right, I think I deserve a beer. Just go and get one. There we go, nice cherry beer, made that, I think that went in the Keyser 10th of August, no, oh I can't remember, it's written on the thing on the Keyser. Nearly see through it. Anyway, cheers. Handsome. Anyway, cheers again. Good. Ah, lovely. There we go into the fermenter. It's going in at about 19, 20 degrees. Jobs are good and There we go, change the recipe slightly. It's fucking backwards, isn't it? I'll take a picture of it later on. Right, that's all done and dusted. Numbers 1042, supposed to be 1046, so I was down four points on that. But not to worry, not too bothered about having a few percent less. Uh, everything went pretty good. Um, it's a bit warm in the fermenter at the moment, about 20. 22.1 so I'll let it come down to 20 then I'll pitch the yeast which is Liberty Bell M36 yeast and then we'll put that to bed and we'll have a look in about a week's time thanks very much for watching
and I'll see you later. Ta-da!